So we're basically there. Unfortunately, I had a little bit of a camera incident, so some of this didn't get recorded. Clever me. Anyhow, <laughs> I've gone pretty far with it now. So um, we're basically almost done. It's just a little bit of soldering left to do. So I've uh, recreated my breadboard, all of this junk, and it is now this little bit of, uh, what's it called, Vera board, strip board. And that is going to sit just if I can get it in, just there. So the blue wire is for our switch, so that needs to go onto that connection there. The red wire is for power, so that's gonna go onto the switch. Um, we've got the black wire here for ground, that's gonna go just down here. And then these green wires are going to TX and RX. And I also need to get some power and ground to that module as well. So I'm just using these. Um, do you remember I bought these ages and ages ago, thinking they'd be a lot larger? Well, they're finally useful. So these are tiny little, um, it's like wrapping wire. In fact, I've been using, using this stuff. Um, just did all the little connections. Nothing's high current here. It's literally 40 milliamps is like the highest current that I've measured. So, um, and in fact, these ones are just signal wires. So I'm perfectly happy using this tiny thin wire stuff. I've got some larger wire going from the battery um, terminal uh, down here and threading up through the robot and wrapping around here, connecting to the original power wires going to the bottom of this board. And then I've got the speaker connected here. So if I get the rest of this put together, you'll be able to uh, hear him speak hopefully. So I'll do that, but we'll do a little bit of a sped up version because part three doesn't need to be as long as the other two. Well, I just had a whale of a time trying to figure out <laughs> which way the TX and RX went. I can see it on the breadboard here, but for some reason in my head, I couldn't flip that around and do the reverse. I just couldn't, <laughs> couldn't comprehend it. Oh, well, it's done now. Uh, let's just snip those extras off. And then the last thing is power and ground from this module to the board. Right, that's everything in. <laughs> it is all soldered together. It'll need a bit of um, coaxing into place when I put it all back, but let's throw the SD card in and the IC. And I guess we just switch it on and hope it works. We ready? Silence. No, that is not working. Have I got my TX and RX the wrong way around? Potentially. That's very possible. Okay, let's switch them. Hello, Toby. Oh, that was it. TX and RX were the wrong way round. So hopefully with the press of this button. Robot master. Oh my God. I wonder what the moon tastes like. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Eat your vegetables. What noise does a lion make? Hang on a minute. We need... <laughs> we need his head in. How much wood? Cut that wood, chuck, chuck. If that wood, chuck, cut, chuck, wood. Did you know there are eight planets in our zone when the moon is in its furthest orbit? What do you call a dinosaur that is asleep? Do you know how to spell your name? Oh my god! What do you call a robot that takes the long way around? R2 Detour. Right, so let's just talk about what I've done here quickly before I go and get the hot glue out and glue this thing down. Somewhere like that, I think. Um, so what we've got is we've got this um, serial MP3 module. I've ripped some of the components off 
um, which was a bad idea it turns out, but the headphone jack, ex the whatever it is, connector extended further along the board and I needed that space. So I've reduced my breadboard down to 180 tiny 85 on a bit of strip board and I'm making use of the button and the switch on here uh, so that the oh, so that I can use this button feature fixture whatever it might be um, I can use that along with it so I need to paint over that confuse.com Oh, isn't it exciting? Anyway, I'm going to get the hot glue gun out and I'll come back when I think that I've got something else to show you. Right then, um, without getting too far ahead of myself, I think it's done. <laughs> this is it. So I've hot glued. I know some of you might think hot glue is like the devil, but I like it. It's cool. It's really, really easy to use. So I'm going to continue using it. But so I've hot glued loads of this stuff together. So I've hot glued these in place. They'll largely get held in by the pieces, but it's nice to have them not rattle around. Um, I've hot glued some of the wires down so they stay out of the way of this switch. In fact, that one probably could do with a bit of uh, hot gluing. Um, and I've also hot glued the battery and the charger inside here. And everything is ready to be put together. Let's just um, sandwich that wire down here and stick up. I'll put a wee bit of hot glue on it. I'll just use my fingers. It, it's hot, but that's good enough. It is now out of the way. God, it's so stringy, this stuff. Anyway, let's get it all together. So let's pop that in like that. And then this needs to go in here. Oh, for heaven's sake, this is more difficult. Oh, the wheels. Mustn't forget the wheels. Oh, I've lost a crucial piece. I can't find the bit that uh, goes on there, the retaining head flip. It was on the floor. <laughs> so let's get this thing in. Oh my word. Is this going to be all right? Oh, I wish I had some silicon wire for this instead. Hmm. What I need is some needle nose pliers or something just to ram that wire in a little bit longer, a bit further in. I've got some tweezers, that will probably do it. I've made this wire too long really. That'll have to do. Right, pop that on. And then we'll screw it in. We're using a good old manual screwdriver today. And another one on the other side. Hopefully it's not, whoops. Hopefully there's no wires and things in the way. Doesn't look like there is. Okay, all right, let's get the other arm in. And the head on. And then, is it just the body that goes on now? There's nothing else, is there? I don't want to have to take it apart again. <laughs> oh my God, it's together. 
<laughs> right, let's get the screws in the back. So one there, one there. One there, and one, there you go, and one in there. So this has been really fun actually. I don't think I've had a project that's come out this well. <laughs> pretty much ever. And then there's just the two, God, his arms go proper funny angles. Um, yeah, I don't, I really don't think I've had a project go this well. Good old Brian the robot. Hopefully Toby loves it. Right, that, oh, well, we might as well put the battery holder back on. I was gonna put some LEDs in there, but I'm running out of time really to, uh, to give this to Toby. So it is the 23rd today. that not? Ah. Right, so theoretically, I should just be able to turn him on now. <laughs> Please work. Yes. Oh. What did you learn today? Robot Master. I wonder what the moon tastes like. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh my god. Star. Oh, I love you. I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Eat your vegetables. Oh. He's still got his pull back and go. I put all the wheels back in. He's got a USB charging hole. <laughs> yes. Oh man, Toby's gonna love this. Well, I won't show you what he ends up looking like because um, I'm gonna paint this. Uh, I've got some acrylic paint I can throw on there. That's good for kids, right? Not good for kids, but it's not poisonous. What noise does a lion make? How much wood? Chuck, chuck. Oh, it's mate, chuck, you are brilliant. Chuck, chuck. I love you. I don't want to give this to Toby now. Anyway, well, that, that has been it. So thank you very much for watching. If you stuck through, God, the last, I mean, not much happened. <laughs> so thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's been fun. If anyone else wants to do this kind of project, then it's super easy. You can use one of several of those uh, serial MP3 modules. And even if you could, if you wanted to, put um, some samples right on the AT Tiny 85 and read it from an SD card. I've done that previously, but there's loads of people that have done that before. Um, I did it for my doorbell. Do you remember that? It was a long time ago. Um, but yeah, so you don't need an MP3. I've got 23 samples on here using this MP3 thing. It's just kind of easier. Um, but if you wanted, you can have the 80 tiny play little wave files. Anyway, goodbye. Actually kind of looks like he's saying, come on, doesn't it? Hang on a minute. Bye-bye.